All right, all right, all right. Y'all know who the hell I am, and I really hope I know who you are, too. I'm, of course, John Doe. We're going to do uh, another Drinking with a Marxist video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything to this side channel, but hey, it's time, huh? So, that uh, tradition holds true. Got your cheap brew? Three, two, one. Ooh. That sweet, sweet sound. So a toast to all comrades working class and proletarians fighting the struggle daily. This one's for you. All right. So there's this concept out there of green Marxism. The idea that effectively says you, you add a focus on environmentalism and care for the environment to the Marxist ideology in general, which I see is in line with dialecticalism. Because as, as we know, dialecticalism is about adding something that is missing from an argument to resolve contradictions in arguments and disagreements. And often I see that if in Marxist ideology and Marxism in general, environmentalism is something that is kind of not really focused on and people are hesitant to focus on it because of the, it's also an issue that many liberals take up. And a lot of times, unfortunately, Marxists try to differentiate themselves from liberals by rejecting anything liberals support. Well, that's a bad way to go about things. It should come as no surprise that from time to time there are things that Marxist and unfortunately liberals agree on because liberals are part of leftism but there's not true leftist as we know the reactionary leftist but when they're right they're right and I have no problem working with liberals and agreeing with them on this point of environmentalism we cannot have an effective society a society that is sustainable a society that is healthy without focusing on environmentalism because as we know capitalists rape and pillage the environment at will all for capital gain and profit and to ultimately benefit the capitalist class we can give numerous examples of where the people and their connection to the land is overridden by the desire for the bourgeois and the capitalists to enrich themselves, to further their cause of the metaphysical idea of endless capital. So yes, in the past many have called me a green Marxist and it's a label that I've even admitted to and used myself in the past. And I think it's, it's a misunderstood terminology. And some people want to align that with saying, you're not an actual Marxist, you're a liberal. Because you use this label of green. And in politics, green is associated with reformist, social democrats. But that's not where I'm coming from. Not at all. Now, when the green reformists do make a point and do speak up in politics and do stand up for environmentalism, I really don't have a problem supporting that. Because when Marxists get involved in environmentalism, it gives us an extra window, an extra opportunity to inject Marxism and the spirit of socialism and revolution into reformist movements. And we can pull them over to our side to say that reformism and social democracy is not enough. Full revolution and full empowerment of the working class do we take over the means of production and we seize the state apparatus is what we really want. And if we use the tool of environmentalism as a weapon against the capitalist, then it's all good for us. And other political ideologies come and join us. The liberals, the reformists, they will see that Marxists are more than just revolution. They can understand, they can get in their heads 
Like, we don't want a piece of the damn pie. We want the whole fucking thing. So, this inclusion of other political ideologies who agree with certain points we're making is a good, healthy thing. And we should not totally reject them or, or blow them off. When they are right, they are right. And we must be there to guide them. So they will not become reactionary. They will be able to think and see more materialistically. They'll be able to think and understand the world more dialectically. They will be able to better connect their ideas in their head to material things around them. It gives up an opportunity to educate them and to guide them. Instead of them looking at us as a dangerous part of leftism. It'll help them understand that we are, we are the leftist. We are all the ones that give a damn. So we must not reject green ideology. We must welcome it. Because it adds to the argument. It does not remove anything from it or take away from it. So I thought I'd just make this quick video making that point. That environmentalism is a cause that Marxism must support. And Marxists must stand by. Because as you know, the capitalists destroy our, our planet. Destroy our world at will. W without any apologetic feelings or sentiment towards it. It doesn't matter to them. The only thing that matters to them is capital gain. It's all they care about is themselves, their own class. But to really tru truly care about our class, we must care about the environment. Because after all the fight and struggle, if we actually achieve any type of revolution, there's nothing left for us, the working class, because the environment is totally destroyed. Then what is the purpose? What is the point? You know? Food for thought. So hey, let's have one more together, huh? Oh. So if you have never subscribed or nor have never seen this side channel before, go ahead and subscribe. I'll try to provide a clickety click link somewhere around here. And join with me in these type of discussions. And also, if you've never checked out my, my main channel, I'll either put a link somewhere in the video or in the description box. You check that one out as well. Uh, I suggest, I suggest that as well. So, hey, until next time, this is good comrade John Dole, checking out from Tokyo, eh? Yeah. <laughs>